Bonjour Genie Engineers, welcome to my problem a day series. In this video, we're going to calculate the unit weight of a solid. This is very important if you're taking the FE exam or if you're just taking soil mechanics class. Now, if you're for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer a better life, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, let's get started. Okay, so we're giving the total mass is 100 kilograms, the total volume 0 0.20 cubic meters, the uh, mass of the water is 50 kilograms, and the porosity N is 0 0.37. And we need to find the unit weight of the solids in kilonewtons per cubic meters. So the reason I wanted to share this problem with you guys is because a lot of people have been uh, asking me if... Uh, the FE is straightforward, what type of question did you get in the test? And so this is the question I got on the test uh, on phase relationships. And so it's very straightforward question. There were some tricky questions here and there, but I found that the NCS or the FE exam, most of it is straightforward. It's just trying to find that right equation using the right units and understanding the basics and the concepts of the equation, which helps you prevent from uh, doing any mistakes. So, okay, so let's start solving the problem. So we have, uh, we need to find the unit weight of the solid. So the first thing we're going to do, as we did in the previous videos, is write down the equation. So again, the, the equations are on page 152. That's where the geotechnical uh, engineering starts on the NCS handbook. So we have gamma S is equal to the weight of the solid divided by the volume of the solid. Okay, so the weight of the solid, we can easily determine it. As we said in the previous videos, that the weight is an external force, so is equal to m mass times gravity. When we're giving the mass, we can just figure out the solid or the, the mass of the solid, and then we can just multiply by g, and we can determine the weight of the solid. Now Vs, we were given V, we were given the porosity, so from those two we can determine Vs. So let's start with the weight of the solid. So uh, as I mentioned, weight of the solid is equal to ms times g, right? Because the unit for weight is newtons, right? So it's an external force. And this we have kilograms times meter per second squared, which gives you newtons. Okay. So the mass of the solid, we were giving the total mass and we were giving the, uh, I believe, the water, the mass of the water. Okay, so if you look at the diagram here, they're giving you the weight. Note, guys, weight or mass is the same thing. You can substitute, they're not the same thing, but what I've tried to say is that you can substitute mass for the weight and still use this diagram. So if you have here the total mass, it's equals to the mass of the water plus the mass of the solid. So we're trying to find the mass of the solid, but we were giving the total mass and the mass of the water. So you, you see, guys, where I'm heading? So we could easily determine ms by just taking the total mass, subtract from it the mass of the water, and you get the mass of your solid or your soil. Okay, so let's write that down. So we have mass minus the mass of the water and we're going to multiply by g so i have 100 minus 50 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared so this gives you an answer of 490.5 newtons so we have kilograms meter per second squared that gives you newtons okay Next thing we're going to do is calculate Vs. So we were giving the total volume, right guys? So we have V total is equal to VV plus Vs. So let's write that down. So we have V is equal to VV plus, this is volume of void plus Vs, which is the solid. Okay, so the total volume was given as 0 0.20 cubic meters. Now, I can't really solve anything right now because nothing else was given to us, but we can use N. So N is in form of, or in terms of VV and V. 
So if I do n is equal to vv over v. Now I can solve for vv, which equals to n times v. I have n, I have v, so n is equal to 0 0.37. v is equal to 0 0.20. This should give you 0 0.074 cubic meters. Now here, you can come back here and we uh, rearrange the equation to solve for vs. So I have vs is equal to 0 0.20 minus 0 0.074 because that's the one we just calculated so this gives you an answer of 0 0.126 cubic meters okay so now that we calculated everything we can just go back to the equation and just replace the terms so let me do it in a different color uh, let's pick green so we have the weight of the solid is 490 0.5 newtons divide that by vs which is 0 0.126 cubic meters this should give you an answer of 3892 newtons per cubic meters now note that the answer uh, the multiple choice is kilonewtons per cubic meters so what you have to do is just divide this by a thousand to get kilonewtons so this will give you an answer of 4 kilonewtons per cubic meters. So your answer is going to be B. Okay guys, so remember a problem a day keeps the F away. And if you guys have any questions or a specific topic that you'd like me to go over, please leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure you share with your friends who might find it helpful. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon. A la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.